I'm Miriam, and today we're going to be talking about identity and relationships when it comes to your clutter. Yeah, I know it seems like they might not be connected, but they are. They really, really are. Um, and it's because our things are a representation of who we want to be. And often we don't have the time or the bandwidth to bring that into alignment with the stuff we have, like acting as if. I'm the kind of person that has these kinds of things is different than I have a bunch of things and I'm acting uh, at the whim of these things, right? So that's what I mean by, by clutter and identity and relationships because the clutter happens when you're out of alignment with your things, okay? That's why you don't know what to do with them because they don't fit anymore or they don't fit yet. And so... Knowing this can make getting rid of some stuff so much easier because you can now match the vision of who you want to be, how you want to be, how you want to live your life to the things in your life. And that way you have the best stuff for living your best life, right? So it gets to open up whole categories of things that can go. Maybe you no longer participate in archery. Maybe you no longer um, throw pots, whatever it is. There's gonna be some accoutrements and stuff around your house that is stuff you used to do or for the purpose of doing things you used to do that no longer serve you because you're not that person anymore. We grow, we evolve, we become better versions of ourselves. And so letting some of that go can be um, hugely helpful. And if you aren't quite sure who you want to be in the next phase of your life, going through your things can help you reconnect with some of the more important things to you. So it works both ways. And that's why it's so exciting. Um, and then when it comes to relationships, you know, a lot of people mix up their things or the things people gave them with the relationship you have with the actual person that gave you the thing. So when you look at it from a things are not the people point of view, it's easier to get rid of some of those things that were given to you that you may not love. And maybe you used to love them, but they don't fit your lifestyle anymore. I have a lot of that kind of stuff. I used to decorate completely differently. I liked a lot more stuff. I liked a lot more cozy. And now I'm moving back towards more minimalism again. I've gone through some phases in my life, coming and going. Um, so when people give you things, you don't have to keep them if they don't work for you now and with the person you want to become. So it's your choice to get rid of the things. And if you start telling yourself that people won't like you anymore if you got rid of it or they'll be disappointed in you, you need to look at that relationship and see if it's actually that important because anyone that gets mad at you for getting rid of something they gave you, um, which should be without strings attached, right? It should still, it's just a token. The thing is a token. Um, it's a thought. Keep the thought. Let go of the thing if you don't really love it. Um, okay. So all of those things are to say that I'm going to cover a bunch of this stuff in the Streamline Your Life workshop. It's coming up on February 8th, and you can find out more about it at morethanorganized.net slash workshops. Um, there's a link there to the registration page. And um, it's fascinating how we can tie the stuff to your identity and who you want to be, and let go of the people you used to be, or the version of you you used to be, um, and the relationships. Who and what kind of people do you want in your life now? And how can you bring all that into alignment so you can live your best life, right? So I hope to see you in the workshop. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, follow, share, tell all your friends. It's just more fun that way. And that's why the workshop will be fun too, because it's more people doing the same thing and learning from each other at the same time. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.